everyone, I'm Eric Cortland, and we're here again at Tennis Warehouse, and we're, we're playtesters Brittany and Jason. Uh, what are you playing with today? Today I'm hitting with the TFX1 300 with ice coat at 52 pounds. Um, I got the Ego Racket, the T Rebound 298, also strong with ice coat at 52. So these rackets are going to be perfect. We're going to do a drill where we're hitting out of the corner, and we got to be able to produce shots. So the beauty with the TFX, it's going to have a lot of power, but still good feel. And the vibration dampening system is actually going to control the racket as it goes through instead of shaking around. And the Ega, it's lightweight enough where he, or Jason's going to have some maneuverability, but also the swing weight is going to allow him to, to put some pop on the ball. So let's check it out. In today's game, it's so fast and powerful. And one of the most important things is being able to hit out of the corners. So we're going to do a drill to get them stretched in an outstretched position and see if they can still produce. So Brittany, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed. Okay, I'm going to feed you out wide. After you hit, you're going to start to recover. Once I see you recovering, I'm going to feed the ball fast again. You're going to try to produce a shot cross court so that you can defend from that area. Okay? Here you go. Ready? And go. There. Good. Get out of the corner. I'll feed again. Good. And go. Yes. Use that outside leg to brace yourself. And then, yes, inside leg to push off to get out there. You got it? Love it. So good. Jay, you're up, baby. Come on. All right. Here we go. Ready? And go. Push out. Yes. Good. And recover. Yes. Use that outside leg. Just, yes. Oh, you got it, my man. Yes. Come on. Use the height to buy time. Good. Two more. One. Yes. And last one. Perfect. So good. So what did, what did you all feel out, out of the corners? How's the racket feel? It's whippy, it's maneuverable, it's easy to swing. So when I was stretched out wide, I could kind of just flick my wrist and get good spin, good power. So good. Okay, let's go in one more round. Let's see if I can push you a little bit harder. Here we go. Let's go, Brittany. Go, push. Good, and get back, yes. Oh, that's not hard enough. I gotta get you stretched. Yes, good, again, there we go. Sit, give me five more, one. It's a way to use your outside leg to break. Yes, push out, get out of the corner. Use the open stance, use the right leg to push up. Yep, give me two more. And one more, push up, yes. So good, woo! Jay, let's see it, my man. Come on, let's go, big dog. Go, up, yep, get out of the corner. Oh, I got you, No, oh, he's got it, come on, up. Good, now recover, give me 10 balls. One, good, two, set the outside foot. Three, good, hold your turn with the left side. Four, five, give me two more. And seven, pretty good, perfect. So you can see the majority of the stance is open stance because they're pulled out wide and the open stance is choosing them. They're not stepping across. They're doing a good job of actually playing open stance to push up with the right side. And then they're using the outside leg to break and then inside leg to push off with the crossover step. Very good. Let's try some on the backhand. Let's see how it is. A little tougher sometimes on the backhand because we have two hands, okay? And if you can, I wanna see if you can step there after you hit, leg comes around to, to break you, and then inside leg pushes off. If you have to play open, that's okay. I think the racket will help you on this one. Here we go. Ready, and go. Step out. Good, recover. Yes. Good. Push. You got it, girl. Good get. Good, give me three more. One, step into the court towards me. Two, one more, step in. So good, there we go. All right, my man, here we go. Ready, go. Push the legs up with the swing, push up. Again, and let's try to defend cross court. Again, rub. Yes, there we go. Here we go, three more. One, push up. Two, give me a high finish right here. One more, one more. Give me one more, big man. High finish. Beauty, so good. All right, one more. If you feel too stretched, what's one more shot that you can play? A slice. Love it, yeah, that'll give you a little extra length. So feel free if you need to. Here we go. One, good, step out. Two, Brittany, I love it. Three, sit, that a girl. Four, good, tough one. Five, again, give me three more. Six, high finish. Seven, finish your swing. Eight, one more, step in, up. 
It's all good. Woo! All right, you gotta beat that one. That's, Come on. That's tough. Come on. Here you go, right? Let's see it. Give me a high finish, Jason. All the way up. Yes, good. You're there. Set. High finish. Yes, good. Again. That's much better. Good. It's buying you time, putting a spin on it. Yep. Give me five more. One. Good. Two. Yes, good slice. Three. Hit it. Good. Four. One more. Rip it. So good. So a lot of times when we're testing rackets, we're never put in these situations to see what the racket can really do. So it's a great way to test them to see how you're outstretched and what can the racket do for me. What did you feel, Brittany? Uh, on my backhand side, still has some great maneuverability so I can really whip it around, get that height and depth to stay in the point. Fantastic. Jason, what do you think, man? Same, same like the forehand, it's so easy to whip. Sometimes, like when you're way out, you can just roll your wrist. Easy to do with this one. I love it. And that's the thing, the 298, you know, most people don't think a high performance racket can be a 298 weight, uh, but because of the swing weight, it feels like you're swinging a heavier racket, but the overall lower weight still gives you the maneuverability and, and uh, uh, controllability. So thank you very much. That's uh, our, our series today on, on being able to hit out wide. Check us out on tenniswarehouse.com uh, for more series as well as some of the cool products that we got going on.